the new Cloud Data Prep by Trifacta listing that's now available on the GCP Marketplace. As you can see here, it's got lots of information about the new additions that are available. So you can go ahead and purchase new projects for standard or premium, or you can upgrade an existing project. Once it's purchased, you can then launch the product from the left-hand nav by scrolling down to the Big Data section and selecting Data Prep. From there, it'll launch you directly into the product, and you can see which edition you have based on um, the logo up above. In this case, it's premium. Now, what I like to do is actually take an existing flow and augment it with some of the new capabilities. So with that, I'm going to click on this particular flow, Customer Activity and Retention, and open it. Inside, you'll see this flow here, which has uh, got an existing recipe and output. In this case, it's got an Oracle source, which is taking accounts activity data, and then it's running a recipe that cleanses that activity data and outputting it out to BigQuery. What I want to do is augment this recipe with data from Google Sheets. In this case, I've got account contact information in Google Sheets. Here, you've got various columns and information inside of that. Uh, what I like to do as a part of this is make sure that the data is cleansed and I can capture all the data inside. You'll see here that I've got multiple sheets of data, week one, followed by week two. So that's why I want to pull in. And just to make sure that everything's up to date, I'm going to ahead and just make a quick modification here, make that change. So I now know this is the latest one. It's been saved to my drive. Okay, let's go back to Cloud Data Prep. Now I add this to my flow, I click on add. You can see here all the various data sources that are supported, GCS, Google Sheets, BigQuery, and several relational systems that are now available. Click on Google Sheets. I typed in part of the name inside there, July 2020. Boom, the account contact info, the one I just modified just now is available. So I can go ahead and import that. I just click there. It's importing into this. So it's doing two things. One is checking to make sure I have the right permissions and right access for this. In this case, it's mine, so that should be easy. And it's also making sure that it captures both sheets. In this case, the two sheets there, as in this case, two separate data sets. During data set creation, I chose, instead of making them two separate data sets, I wanna combine them into one data set. This is handy if you have more sheets coming in in the future. So now it's acting as one data set. I'm gonna hit save. And now I'm going to import that into my flow. Okay, now we've got that data set imported in my flow. You can see the details inside of this. I want to combine it. I can do that easily by just clicking append join to this particular recipe. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting the correct data set to join. In this case, account contact info, I'm going to hit accept. And it's going to go ahead and join through this. I'm going to skip through a couple steps just to make this uh, demo grow a little faster. But now that it's successfully joined, I can see it there. Um, just for ease of uh, understanding, I'm going to reposition this so it lines up with my other sources. All right. So now, for the most part, I've got most of the data that I want inside this. Let me go check my output. Yeah, I've got uh, destination that I've correctly set, in this case, the BigQuery. Um, and I want to add an action after this particular job is completed running. In this case, I am interested in kicking off a cloud function that will analyze the output from a successful job run. To do this, I will go ahead and add a new webhook task that executes after the job is complete. Let's take a quick look at the cloud function by pulling it up. It's a simple function that calls a scoring model against account data. I'll quickly grab the trigger for that particular account scoring model. Take that and I'll go back to data prep. So now when I create a webhook task, I can give it a quick name, count scoring, and I'll, I will just paste the exact same URL that I got from the trigger. I'll choose that I want this to be happen on just success on any particular output. And finally, I'll pass in the headers. Let's go ahead and test that first. Just make sure it's working. Okay, good. I triggered it against cloud functions. I'll hit create. Okay, now I have my webhook task there. Let's finish this off by actually running the job. You can see here uh, in the run job view, you can choose to profile your results. Again, checking that I'm outputting to the right location. Then I'll set the correct region that I'm running from. In this case, I'm saying I'm gonna run from Europe. So I'm selecting my data centers and which machines I'm interested in. Now showing you the new capabilities that we added, like customizing your VPC network mode, 
if you want to choose private IP addresses, and if you want to go further and set your al uh, auto scaling algorithms, you can inside here as well. That all looks good. Let me click Run Job. So with that, the job should be kicking off. As a recap of this scenario, this job will read data from Oracle and Google Sheets, join them in a single recipe, and cleanse the data. The output will be sent to BigQuery, and a cloud function will be triggered to run a scoring algorithm on that data once a job has completed successfully.